How's it going guys? It's Revelations and welcome back for another episode of Minecraft Sky Factory 4. With that being said, we're going to jump right into it. We're not going to take any breaks, not going to do an introduction. That's it. We're doing it right into it. So as you may have noticed from last episode to this episode, there was a small cut where we only had these two done. We didn't have any of this done, but I accidentally started doing this video and I didn't hit the record button like a genius because that is what I am. And <laughs> with that taken into mind, we have done this section right here. So all we did was cut down the coal sapling we had and then turn some of that resin and the uh, acorns that it drops into a piece of coal. That gave us eight torches. We placed down four of them and we are now good. So besides that, we also did the string, string portion, which is just making a string sapling, which we already had. We cut it down, got our first piece of string, and now we need 11 more in order to make three pieces of wool. That wool will then help us get the bed achievement, and from there we can move on to doing this tin stuff, which I actually I have no clue how that works. So, I will be right back after I get 11 more pieces of string, as I think it's going to be a little bit of a pain, seeing how as I cut down two of these trees previously and only got one piece of string. So I think... Alright, so it might not take as long, but still, I'll be right back. So finally we got our 12 string. I know it didn't seem like it was going to take a long time after the string just dropped in front of my face like that, but I promise you it was not a short it was not a short set of time. It was <laughs> it took a lot longer than I expected it to. So with that we can go ahead and make our four wool or three wool, I'm sorry. And from there, boom, we can do that. We just need three pieces of wood now, one, two, three, and we are good to go to simply do that. And we have a bed. Look at us. We can sleep now. We can be comfortable. We need to expand the island, to be honest. There's not enough room to really do much. New spawn point set. Now we have the nap time achievement. And we can move on to the tin man and the tin stuff. This is where the pack becomes complicated. Warning, warning. Complicated stuff ahead. But the first thing we're going to do is make a tin amber, which requires tin, I think but we can find out very soon just by typing in tin amber. We, are, we have a lot of grinding coming up ahead of us and you'll see why in a second. So we need gravel, bone, clay. Yeah, gravel, bone, clay, and flint for right now. Gravel, bone, clay, flint. Gravel, bone, clay, flint. Gravel, gravel, bone, bone, clay, clay, and then flint, flint. We only have two flint. <laughs> So we just got a lot of this stuff for basically no reason. So let's just go ahead and make two of these, I guess, because that's all we can make. Boom. So we have tin amber. Tin amber can be melted down into tin, which will make us better tools and so on. But you may be wondering, how do we melt this down? And that is where things become, become complicated because you can't simply put them in a smelter. All right, I was completely wrong. You can completely just stick these in a smelter, apparently. I uh, didn't know that. I thought we were going to have to do the whole smeltery thing, but I, I guess not. For we, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, how do we make... I don't understand. Wait, I thought we were going to have to go, go the whole smeltery route. Or molten tin over... Okay, so we are going to have to make molten tin. Got you. Because we have to make a tin sapling. And the only way we make tin saplings is by okay so i was right i was thinking for a second that we weren't going to have to do this but we are and right now i'm speaking in terms of this and that so it's not really telling you what we have to do but i will explain in just one second we are going to have to build this thing this giant thing right here called a smeltery we in normal minecraft terms are used to building little things such as this over here this is what we're used to Instead, what we're about to have to build is a 4x4 facility that is going to be melting our stuff down, which means that priority number one is going to be expanding our island because right now we have, we have no way to grow anything right now at all. So, with that being said, I will be right back, and when I get back, our island should look a good bit different as what I plan on doing is just extending this out here about maybe like five or six more layers and then i'll probably build a small bridge over here and that's going to be our little smeltery island but we shall see and uh yeah let's get let's get it done and get our new island set up i'll be right back and we are back 
And you may be thinking, hey, you have on a different shirt and you're right because this isn't the same day. This is a different day, a different time because I decided to grind it a lot to make sure that I could build this island out and make it look really nice before we got back because I didn't really want to have to go through this a second time. With that being said, slow reveal here. We have a little island on that side. That's going to be our plants, our trees, and so on. Our main island here with nice uh, wooden ground. I was really conflicted between actually doing it like planks or doing it with real wood. I'm glad that I did it with real wood. And this is going to be the area for our smeltery whenever we do end up building it out. With that being said, we are finally done. We have used a ton of resources. Again, this took two days before I finished it out because of all the grinding I had to do to get everything. The easiest thing to get was the one thing we used like the least of, and that was cobblestone. So I'm not really super excited about that, but <laughs> it's fine. Cobblestone just kind of looked a little bit ugly, so I wanted to cancel it and use wood and other materials instead. With that being said, you may see all the clay in our inventory and be wondering why do you need that much clay? And the answer is bonsai trees or bonsai pots. We want to make as many of these as possible as what we can do is put dirt into these bonsais and then put saplings in here to have a constant flow of materials coming out versus having to plant and grow trees consistently. So that being said, what I think I'm going to do is I'm probably going to add another layer here and put bonsai trees all along this area and all along this area as this is our little growth patch. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need 14. So that means 14 times five. I think one, two, three, four, five. So 14 times 10, 50, and then 14 times four is 20. So 70, we need 70 bricks, which means one full stack and then a little bit more. But the thing is, that's gonna take a little bit. <laughs> so as per the normal, I will be right back whenever we have all of the bricks necessary. So while we wait for the bricks to be made, I do want to go ahead and start building out some mulch. When I say that, you may be like, what is mulch? So instead of putting dirt into these bonsai pots, we can put mulch instead. And as you can read the description up here, that will boost the growth rate and the drop chance by 140%, which is a really good rate. So with that being said, we need to figure out how to build mulch. We got the sticks easy, but we need cocoa beans. And as we all know from base level Minecraft, cocoa beans comes from the, uh, what are they called? Jungle trees. Jungle trees we can get from putting a clay sapling in a thing of mud. I think we still have mud in one of these. Uh, yep. So we need a clay sapling very quickly and then we can start building out a jungle tree which will give us the ability to get some of that cocoa bean and cocoa bean. There we go. Cocoa bean will provide us with the necessary stuff required to make mulch. The only issue with jungle saplings you may or may not know this some people don't but jungle saplings they normally don't grow unless they're in a two by two pattern i eat my words i need to go make another axe anyway because we kind of broke my current my old axe whenever i was doing all of this so let's go ahead and get that real quick and uh we'll cut us down some jungle saplings until we have enough to make 14 pieces of mulch which will, will require man i can't speak today which will require 14 pieces of cocoa bean. So I will be right back whenever the bricks are done being made and I have the needed materials to make the mulch. So the sticks have been secured, the cocoa beans secured, everything is ready and good to go. With that, we need to go ahead and put the saplings where they belong if I can find where I need to put them. There we go, and we have the cocoa and the sticks. I think it was like this, if I'm right. Even if I am right, we don't have enough. Oh, one makes two, so we only needed seven. Well, we got extra cocoa beans if needed later on. But either way, I don't think we're gonna need them later on. But if so, we got it. We also have a lot more dirt than we need, so I guess we can just put all of them away except for those 14. Put the sticks in here. We have the mulch, all's good. Now we need to go over here and grab our bars and we have the proper amounts look at that so now boom 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 this is not the best way to be doing this to be honest but it works we're gonna have to split these like a few times to get this to work out properly yeah i did that the most backwards way i can imagine all right so we have the bonsai bushes or the bonsai trees we have the brown mulch now what we can do is lay them along the road right here i think that looks nice i'm okay with that and boom. 
put the brown mulch in. Just left clicking to get it get it in or right clicking. That's not what I wanted to do. Please don't disappear into nothingness. All right, suit so, wheat. <laughs> I was gonna say so cool and I was gonna say sweet, but then it became suit, and then I had to finish it with wheat. That was just weird. Forgive me for that. All right, so we need to go ahead and put some sand in there. Let's do sand, um, clay, and gravel. Those are the things that we're gonna need. And you may be saying, what are you gonna need those weird three things for? And that is what we're about to talk about in a second after I plant one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we have two more. I think we'll just do two more gravel saplings because this is gonna be the most needed. And as you can see here, this is how it works. They grow until they're at 100%. At the moment they hit 100%, I can go through and do this, which I will show you in just a moment. And that's how I'm gonna have things configured so I can grind this up a little bit faster. So 100, I can go right click it, but I can't right click it unless I have an ax. So have an ax, right click the pot with an ax, and I can collect the desired materials. Cool thing is I don't have to replant anything because they start regrowing themselves. So it only takes one sapling to basically get a whole set of anything you need. Another cool thing is this is one of the only ways besides shears, of course, that you can get leaves. What leaves do for you is help you get water. So if I, can, I put these leaves in here, I can just jump on them a few times and be getting some water along with seeds. Seeds are gonna help us grow things later on as will like everything in this game as everything ties together in progression in some way, shape or form. Every single time, there's no way you're gonna get through a round of this or an episode of this without there being some heavy progression. And it, it's always gonna come from bonsai trees or trees in general because that's what this pack is based around. With that being said, I can now explain to you why we needed these types of trees. And that is because our next step in our book is to start smelting stuff in a smeltery. And the way you make a smeltery is using something called seared bricks. When you type in seared bricks, seared, Bricks. This is all a Tinker's Construct mod, by the way, if you want to look into it. But to get seared bricks, you have to smelt grout. And you may be wondering, what is grout? Grout is the thing, I am grout, but grout is the thing that you need to make seared bricks. How you make grout is using gravel, sand, and clay. Those three things are the main requirements. And once you have those three things, it makes four pieces. Four pieces makes four, bri four blocks and four blocks makes one brick. The thing is, to make a smeltery, you need one, two, three, four. No, there's a whole Tinker's Construct book somewhere that we need to build real quick. So, <laughs> Tinker's, Tinker's Construct Guide. There should be a book of some sort that we can literally make. Maybe I just need to do at Tinker's, Tinker Reverse. <laughs> Something like that. Um, if I can find the book, there it is. So materials and you is what we're gonna need. All we need is a pattern and a book. We have no way to make a book quite yet, but as soon as we do, actually, yeah, we do. We just need to make paper. Paper comes from sugarcane. Sugarcane, we have the seeds right here. So we need to go ahead and plant one of these on some sand, I'm guessing, but which means that we're gonna need water. Yeah, we have a lot of really complicated stuff coming up, and I think that's going to be left for next episode. What I'm going to do between now and next episode is grind the mess out of these trees in hopes to have enough to make a smeltery next episode. And we'll, we will make sure to walk through all the detailed steps and processes that come along with putting one of those together as it does get complicated very quick. But all that will be done on our new little island right over here. So with that, guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to the channel. And I'm glad that you watched the episode. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to hit that like button. Again, really help, really helps for a small channels such as myself. And with that, that is the end of the episode. Happy Halloween, by the way. It's like four days until, so I hope you have a great Halloween. And uh, yeah, enjoy the time with your kids, your family, or anybody else that you're hanging out with for your Halloween. So yeah. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you next time for the next episode of Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Alright, peace out.